Hi guys, it's Jamie here and welcome to day 13 of our Start Journaling Challenge. Today we're going to do a multi-pocket using book pages so that you can do it on a budget. I will be using scraps from previous Creator Club kits. At the moment I'm tearing out probably seven pages. With our first page we are going to simply turn it all the way down to the bottom because I like to rip things rather than cut them. I'm going to tear that spare piece off. That would actually make our first pocket. Now our next pocket is going to cut, turn at an inch higher than this one. From the base we measure up one inch We'll turn it down again diagonally to that one inch mark. And take off the excess. Next page will go at the two inch mark from the base. And again, tear off that excess. And you're beginning to see, hopefully, how these pockets will stack together. So it's up to you how many diagonal pockets you do. I'm going to continue. This is what I'm left with. This is going to be the back, so my base, and then I'm going to work my way down. A lot of this gets covered up, but not all of it. So if you want to decorate, you probably want to do it before you start to glue everything together. One quick way to decorate anything like this is to use napkins. I know that the scraps that I'm going to be using on this page are from our poppies kit and I do have some poppy napkins. I want to know what's going to be seen because we don't want to really use napkin where it's not going to be seen. So as long as there's napkin over that top corner, with the napkin you want to take it down to one layer. I also have a huge amount of Mod Podge because I use it so much. This is where we will be putting the napkin for that very back page. We'll wrinkle and it might tear and that's all okay. Take a little bit of the Mod Podge and put a top layer on. Because we're conserving and using as much as we can, I'm going to roughly trim that off. That is our first page. On the second page, we will be seeing fold over and slightly either side of the fold over. should now line up. We continue to do that with all of these folded turnovers. Now it's dry and I've cut away some of the excess using a nail file around some of the edges. Take it down. You should end up with a nice slightly worn look and if you want to you can use an ink to highlight the shape. When you've done all that, I would recommend, though it isn't essential, that you do another coat of the Mod Podge. Not only with it being wet will it help spread the vintage photo that I've used, but it will catch any bits that are lifting and seal them down. So that's the next treatment for every single one of these triangle pocket shapes. Once everything is dry, stained up, looks how you want it to look and you've got it back in order, all you have to do is start to stick the edges down to make pockets. Line it all up as best you can and you can start to clip things in place. I've got seven more pages because there are seven pockets and the first thing I'm going to do is 
cut off the margins. By doing that, we know they will fit in each pocket. Now we have the beginnings of seven journaling cards. All we need to do is measure the depth of the pocket just below the next level. And we know roughly the size that we want to make the journaling card. For example, the first one looks like four and a half. That will fit. Obviously, we're going to stagger all the way up anyway. For each one, I think we need to go about an inch bigger and continue that way going up an inch every single time so that we have our different sizes that we need. Once you've cut them down to approximately the size you want then we're going to put them onto some heavy cardstock. You will do that for all the pieces. I've trimmed up along the edges so that it's slightly neater. Yeah, that's good. That's all good. This is quite a chunky monkey. So what I'm thinking of doing is using some really heavy duty double-sided tape. Also down those edges, get some wet glue. The problem with using tape is if you don't get it on straight the first time you, you're done for. Burnish it down. Pop a heavy weight on that for a little bit. Because I've got a bit of limited time at the moment, I'm busy trying to get vampire kiss tutorials done. What I'm going to do is go with this design and do a design the journaling card daily with the question which saves me a little bit of time in filming the videos I have opened my scrap box that has a lot of the spare stuff from the poppy light that I didn't use therefore I'm going to start with a bit of napkin we should have torn a slightly longer piece but I do have lots of red pieces here that I could use some bits of old paper I think if we go down and then overlap that way I don't really know how I'm going to do this design yet start with the napkin That's a sticker. I think I'm just going to have to build a collage up somehow. Just need something to join them. I have some red numbers. This is quite pretty as it is. However, I found this paper doll that's sitting. I'm going to try and get through some of this card and round those corners. This is an espresso, so it is darker. Now we're ready for today's question. Imagine you could only keep 20% of your belongings. How would you choose? What would the final result look like? And how would that final result feel to you? This one is now ready to put into the pocket. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Tomorrow's video will be much shorter because we're just going to very quickly design a journal card and do the question. And we'll do that for the next couple of days while I pursue Vampire Kiss, get those videos done and edited, and I will see you next time.